One question I have about these peaks when doing, you know, analyses on uh, material stresses, pipe stress, flexibility analysis, there's a very strong link towards the piping codes. Same for, you know, pressure vessel design. How do the industry standards, maybe ASME or the European norms or, you know, any other bodies, do they mention these? And how do you know if that peak is acceptable or not? Because it's quite substantially higher than the steady state, let's say, pressures in the system. Yeah, so if you look at piping, there are limits. You can talk about occasional stress limits, but those relate to pressure as well. So if you do a stress analysis according to an ASME P31.3 or an EN13, 480 European context piping study. There you have some increased limits for temporary loads, and this is a very temporary load indeed. But how specifically they relate to surge problems, that is not really clearly stated. So these uh, standards, right. they do mention that you have to look at water hammer. There has to be an assessment. It doesn't state how you have to do it or what kind of limits or what kind of scenarios have to be considered. This is really something that is up to the engineer to decide mm -hmm. what kind of analysis is appropriate in this case or what kind of scenarios you have to look at.